Good evening, everyone. Sorry for the little delay there. Um, <clears throat> right, welcome to Try Out Tuesday. For those of you that do not know, every Tuesday we go live on Facebook and... Well, it's usually me, so my name's Bev. We go live on Facebook and we craft. And we don't turn our phones off because we forgot to turn, turn the sounds off. What we're looking for. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be doing some art journaling in our Dilutions Classics journal. Okay, but before we do that, we're going to have a little look at a different journal that um, lots of people have been asked to have a look in. Um, so I brought one home from the shop so we can have a look at it and you can see what you think. Okay, because I think that would be good. Right, oh, it's letting me share tonight as well right hello just a quick hello hello alison gail moira joe sue judy joe kim and sammy's in there as well somewhere i'm so sure right so like i say if you haven't joined me before sam is also here um so if you need any links or anything feel free to give us a shout um and if there is anything desperately pressing that you need me to digress on to i will of course okay um and yes we do take suggestions for try out tuesday sam actually had some last week i've already forgotten what they were i will make sure they're done next week right so <clears throat> what i want to have a quick run through is the jumpstart journal okay now lots of people have asked us about the jumpstart journal i think it's because um sam or i own all the other ones but neither of us have the jumpstart journal and you will see why in a minute but the thing about the dilutions jumpstart journal is it's a fantastic if you don't know where to start okay if you have literally no idea where to start you're desperate to start art journaling but you've just there's nothing you've got no idea or even you don't have a massive amount of mediums um, at the minute the jumpstart journal is a really really good one okay so you've heard me talk about dilutions journals before you know they're really great in terms of um value per page okay so this one has 56 pages and it has the envelope for you to keep cut out bits and stuff again which is really good if you're in a small and it has sort of like this chipboard covered book inside now like all illusions journals it also has this fantastic um sort of ivory cardstock which is great for mediums it's more of a paper stock i suppose it's not massively heavy um but you know what i mean i was gonna say just sorry just very briefly i am not i'm not working in this tonight this is just to show you because people have asked for a run through okay but it's really good and i do cut this out really go all right <clears throat> now what you also have in your jumpstart journal is you have started pages okay because getting started can sometimes be the hardest bit okay actually you know making that leap that leaping off point so you're she did bring everything back um but your jumpstart journal you've got that for you okay so for example you've got this one here but they're all different so basically what you tend to find is all your right hand pages I've got a backing paper ready okay and all your left hand pages are for you to have a go yourself so like i say it's brilliant and let's say there's 56 pages in total so that's a lot and you can see some of them for example are just open doodles so you could have a go with coloring you know some of them are quite heftily done like for example that that's got quite a lot on it it's quite busy this has got quite a lot on it and then you get ones that are just a little bit less. And you've got ones you can doodle into and things like this. And I think it's just a really good, if you really don't have any confidence um, in how to start, this is a good one. It really is a good one. So um, I was going to say, let me just do a quick flick through of all the Oh, that one 
thumb screw there. Okay. Yeah. So, Ali, this is the Dilusions Jump Starter Journal. Like I say, it's not one I have. I can make enough mess. But it's 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 wicked. And what the reason the reason we have this, uh, we stock this, is because if you really just don't know where to start, or you don't have any mediums yet, and you want to play and see if you can use the backgrounds before you commit yourself to any mediums, this is this is a really good one. Okay. Sue James, let me tell you a story about your glitter. Okay. Um, you will have noticed, ladies and gents, when Sam packs your parcels, if you have something that is um, a liquid or something that would create a mess if it broke, it's double wrapped. Okay? So that if it does do that, it doesn't destroy everything else in the parcel. Okay? It protects your parcel. It protects us. And whatever. What Samantha Green did... When she wrapped your, it was the distress. Was it vintage platinum glitter? And it's quite, it's quite a big top, right? When Sam packed your vintage platinum distress glitter, so, and she put it in its own little jiffy, right? She did say she went. It would be quite. I can't remember the exact word. I can't remember if she said good, funny, or interesting. She said because the pot's that big with the glitter, so you know there's quite a lot of it. Right, and she said, if the 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 pot somehow split, and when Sue opened it, the glitter went poof. She thought it was quite entertaining. Well, that's all I'm saying. So she was wishing you looking sparkly. So there you are. Right, <clears throat> but back to tonight. Back to this evening. I've just remembered. I've left my new pot of gel medium. In the kitchen hang on it's really not that far away oh no it isn't it's right there someone must have already put it there for me what a good egg right <clears throat> so what we're gonna do if it wouldn't it be amazing if when sue opened the package it was a glitter explosion well there you are so what we're doing this evening is we're going to use the classic journal now the classic journal is in many ways quite similar to the jump start Okay, it's got the chipboard cover, it's got your book and all this sort of thing, and this fantastic ivory media stock. But what it also has is it has craft and black pages too, which are something fun to work on. So again, this, and I think this is what's so cool about what um, Diane's done with these, she's created some journals which are really step by step okay so if you don't have anywhere to start um you know in the in, in a plain journal is just too much for you um the jump start is brilliant um this one is if you're looking for something else but you don't want all ivory but you don't you're not ready for a dina wakely with it's got the fabric and things like that in it this is really good because it's got the different sorts of media stock in it. But it's nice and smooth. It's easy to stamp on. It takes all your mediums really well. Okay, so, you know. Yes, with regards to the glitter, I will say it's, it, you know, like I said, it was individually wrapped in its own jiffy bag and whatever. So it actually couldn't have broken. Okay, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is I'm we're wanting to work on... I had decided where I was going to work and now I can't find it. Ha! Here we go. So I had decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I can make it sit flat, is I'm going to work on this page. Okay. Um, I'm nowhere near far enough through this journal yet. The thing with the Dilutions journal, you do get a lot of pages, so that does make it take, that means it does take you longer to finish, um, provided you don't rip any pages out which I do um, sometimes. But so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing, yeah, so I'm nowhere near finished enough where it's like, right, I'm trying to complete double pages, but I really want to put something here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is similar to the jump start, but not the same as. I've got some of 
my mop-up sheets. Now these are mop-up sheets from when I was doing work with the Dina Wakeley Media Gloss Sprays. Okay, and this was done when I sprayed the back of um, a collage paper and I just sort of wanted to lift off the excess and this is sort of what I ended up with okay which is really cool so I'm gonna work with this is the start of my background okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to work out just exactly how much of this I'm gonna trim off but I am actually I'm just gonna rip. oh we're just gonna rip and give it a sort of place but we don't really want a harsh edge if we have ripped edges on the other ones do we so we're just going to rip these bits off might add them on again somewhere in a minute so this is just basically a mop-up sheet okay so we've all got um uh, mop-up sheets where you know you're spraying ink onto an embellishment or or a smaller piece of paper we i don't i don't throw those away i keep them I have got to this stage where I have started chucking away little bits like these if I don't use them instantly because otherwise you just end up with loads. Okay, so that is going to go straight on to that page there. So if you look very similar to the jump start, you've got a page that started. Yeah? So I'm going to get some of my matte medium. This is a new bottle. It won't come out. That's that's weird. It's all right. I don't need the skinny nozzle. We right. So we're just going to put that on there. <clears throat> going to get a big brush, my big Dina two-inch brush. Okay. Just spread it out. And the good thing is, you don't have to worry about you know you know get your matte medium on here and if you move the paper about and a bit goes on the front it doesn't matter because it's matte medium so if you are going over for example a dilution background you might find the matte medium will move the ink a little um so you do need to watch out for that if that's something you're worried about but as this is dina wakely gloss spray once it's dried that's it it's not going anywhere so what I do is I just go over the top as well and that because you can really work it in and like I say because it dries matte you're absolutely fine. <laughs> you missed a bit. I know. They would be at home there, absolutely. The doodle art mandalas would be very at home in the Jumpstart journal because of the relaxed way they're drawn. It very much goes with how Diane crafts, doesn't it? Okay. So the good thing about this is, so you've already got all of that texture. This is a um, my cheapy watercolour paper stock. Again, if you haven't been here before, I use cheap watercolour to do a lot of mop-up or I use tissue, um, depending on what I've managed to build up a stock of. Um, I am getting to the end of my tissue, um, so I will start using that again quite soon um, and what have you. But the thing is, these little bits here, you can always add on okay so for example i've got that a bit too wet let me get another brush i lost my painty towel i had it's one of the things i had in my hand right so you could put some gel medium for example down here and start adding these bits To the edge and that way your sort of ripped paper design covers the whole 
area if that's more what you like. I'll just put a bit more. Just push that up so you can see what I'm doing. So it sort of creates a frame around your centerpiece. Again, if that's what you want to do, you really don't have to. Because it's yours, you can make it look however you want. Okay. What tissue do you use for mop-up? Um, the stuff I've used before, in fairness, really rips a quite, part quite badly. But Sam and I have found um, a new collage tissue, which will be going on the website this week. It's not as weighty as the Dina Wakely stuff, so I'm not even going to try and profess that it is. But it's also not the same price either, you know. So it's, but it's just a bit weightier than you know cheapy cheapy tissue. So. We'll get that onto the website this week. We, we meant to do it today in all honesty, but we have been... We've been doing other things. Busy, proper shop things, I promise. Proper be crafty things, but just other things. Okay. So then you've got the ripped... Bits, shall we say. Quick thing, if anyone can see where I put the lid for my embossing glaze, if I'm not, not for my embossing glaze, my matte medium, I will take advice on that. Um, <clears throat> right, so what I'm going to do is I have actually prepped some bits to go on this page, so it's making it work with what I've done. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to do is take some of my tag inker balls because they're on my desk and we're going to go with this one it's one of my favorites and that's from set number two and actually i've got some inkables over here as well that i wanted to use i've got some arrows so we're going to use those two so i'm going to get my fossilised amber, actually my mustard seed might be better, but we'll see. And I'm going to go in with one of my Fabi New Domi Foamies that we were playing with last week for the first time. I'm so impressed with these, they're so awesome. Right, I'm just going to turn that over because it looks like I haven't cleaned it properly. Who knows, maybe I haven't. Okay, so we're going to go in with our fossilised amber. Is this dry enough yet? Eee, we'll see. Okay. In a couple of areas, it's definitely not dry enough down there. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Is that coming up on thingy? So I'm just going to test where it's dry enough, basically, and add in these little bits of detail with the yellow. Gorgeous. Right, I'm just going to get my heat tool. I think so we can make sure the rest of this collage medium is dry before we do anything else. Mop some of that up. Here we go. So has everybody been creating this week? Have we all been being creative? I mean, it's on Tuesday evening. Oh, this will be a good time to remind you, actually, that... Do you remember we had Inkables Day last month where we did all the Inkables things and lots of you did buy? Thank you very much for that. Uh, well, now is a chance to use your Inkables to win something. So the challenge for April has gone up in, in the Be Crafty Stamps group, and it is make something with your Inkables. Okay. So go on, have a look. Because um, then you go in 
to win a voucher. You could you could win a voucher. Which is good news. Here we go. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that for a second. And we're going to go in with some texture paste. And I'm going to get to my favourite big one, probably. Actually, no, because this is my non-texture paste one. So I can't use my not texture paste one to use top texture paste because that would be really bad. So we're not going to do that. Let's have a look through some of the 6x6 inkables. What haven't we used in 6x6 inkables in a long time? There's so many. How many did we add it? Did you work it out to be, Sam? Was it 85? At the minute we have, oh, there we go, I have a bit of text, beautiful. Um, I think it's 85 6x6 inkables. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, the text, if you are, if you think, well, that's quite a lot of text, I wouldn't necessarily use all of that. There is also um, the coffee stain and script, okay? which is half text and half coffee stain. Okay, so in that way, if you think you're only ever gonna use a little section, it sort of gives you two for the price of one, really. Okay, so this is the matte Tim Holtz Distress Texture Paste. I opened this for the first time last week. I do really like it, it's quite nice. Um, so we're going to go in there. It's quite light, it's easy to move. get really good definition that does have a slight blue hue to it i can't imagine why and this is where to be honest a lot of um the colors and everything i work with come from you know i've left ink on the thing so that's quite cool very nice And you can see how easily you can put now for me i think that is now a super duper easy to finish page okay because you've got your background texture you've got some other bits so you know with some some of your own things you're absolutely cool now what i also have i've, I've been i've been doing a lot of inkables day collecting up if you remember i made these circles using the easy frames and um other inkables okay so what i've done is i've cut this one out okay and we're going to use this in places now the negative or the positive depending on which way you look at it i what i've done is i've cut down into a smaller circle that we can put somewhere else and i thought this would be a good way of bringing in for example the circles from here almost so it doesn't go but it's not completely off the wall but what we're going to do before we put them on is let me show you the bits i have brought together so using the doodle art b and sunflower okay I have prepped some sunflowers and what I've done is I've coloured them. These have been coloured in using dilution spray. Um, I put the ink on one of our Super Skinny Slims acrylic blocks and then used that as a paint palette, okay, just to paint them, okay. Um, and I think the sunflowers are absolutely beautiful. This one I've cut out so none of the back leaves are behind. Um, and this in these ones I've just coloured sort of in the opposite. Okay, so I've done those. I've also done a couple of more flowers, um, and these are from the centre of some of the doodle arts, just to give us a couple of different shapes um, to go on as well, which I really really like. 
okay? But funnily enough, I was playing, if you can imagine, um, after I cut them out. And I did actually think that, layered up with that, and then that in the middle, made an absolutely awesome flower. So I'm going to have to do that with something else at some point because I was really, really pleased with it. And it just shows you how you can mix and match, especially across the doodle art. I mean, it's made for mix and matching, really. Um, all right, so I have those as well. And like I say, I have used the bee too. So what I've done is I have coloured the bee to match. And what I, again, I've used the lemon zest and the bubblegum pink to colour all of these elements, okay? But obviously combining those two has also given me a really nice orange. Um, but what I've done is on the bee, I've just used an, a very watered down a very watered down bit of the bubblegum pink just on his wings to make sure that he works with everything else that we're working on here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to have a play around with placement. Okay. Um, and this is why I say, you know, if you are struggling with Mojo about how you're going to put a journal together um, and whatever, pick, pick a scrap sheet. Okay. And then work outwards. And then prep some some bits and have a play that way and then just because nothing has to be stuck down instantly it's all about piecing it together so i'm wondering if that's maybe just a bit too big now in in, in truth but we'll see um but we could really sort of build up lots of the flowers And then because I, I will add in some more stamping but i want to know i want to have a plan <laughs> where i'm going first basically i'm thinking i am thinking that we add these circles where they are and then maybe start bringing in um, some more stamps after we still we still might layer some of these up yet you know and start maybe putting in some different length stems on the You start with the background colour and coloured your images to go with it. Yeah, absolutely. That being said, I do also have um, uh, pockets with things coloured in already. So sometimes I'll work from that way. I think the important thing is just to find something. But we used to, um, there used to be a fabulous lady that used to DT for us. And she would, if she was making cards, for example, she would get three ink pads the stamp set she wanted to use in three templates. And she would make a series of cards. She would make three cards, bare minimum, with what she had in front of her. And I think it's setting yourself that sort of, you know, but because I had this sheet here, it gave me somewhere to go. Now that texture paste is very nearly dry. <clears throat> and you are allowed to heat set this texture paste. So do you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to heat set this texture paste and then... We're gonna, but these circles, I think they're a bit too green. I think we need to bring them in to what we're doing. We're gonna put that there for now, and then we're gonna do that. So when I said I, that is so nearly dry. Apart from that bit that I just smudged, that's all right. We'll stick something over that. Um, so when I said I used my super skinny slim that we use for our clear stamps on. She has a level of discipline I can't even fathom. Who? Me? I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> I've totally forgotten where I'm going. Yeah. So when I said I was painting with the Dilutions spray, I'm going to show you what I meant by that. So... What I do is I get my block. Paula, yeah, that was major discipline. Right, so I would, I'll get my acrylic block. 
I, did, I was worried it was me. I was like, that's, that's really weird. Okay. And I'll put it on my block like that. Now, I will say the Tim Holtz texture paste we've just used, you can colour that wet or dry, okay? So, for example, if you wanted to go in now with some sprays or whatever, you can tint that. Okay. Um, which is quite cool. All right, everybody's laughing. It may not be being disciplined. Ha, ha, ha. I could be disciplined. I get here every week, don't I? That's enough. Right. So from there, I will use my number two Dina Wakely Media paintbrush because it's really fine. And I basically just, with a bit of water on the end, and then I paint. However, that's not what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use the dilution spray you could just flick it on but i am what i'm doing is i'm adding more water to it um to get different tone as well so you could just flick it on if you wanted to but i actually find this is actually you have more control this way okay so like i said earlier i was blending the two together to get a sort of orange which is what i used um for the middles of some of the sunflowers and on like the shading on the bee so these are the only two colors i used because i don't want you guys to think you always have to have you know sometimes you just have to work with what you have you know it's not it's not always Oh, I can go and get loads and loads of that because trust me that's not even how it works for me so here we go oh no move you out of the way right so we are just going to put a little bit on in these paler bits okay but adding ink to your block like this is always also a great way of using sprays um, to create backgrounds if you're like I say if you're not comfortable um, spraying them you know don't think dilution as daft as it sounds don't think dilution think spraying things aren't for you just because you don't want to spray them because you don't want to create that sort of mess we totally get it you can add them to your block like this and create inky inky smudges inky blends and that sort of thing that way okay so don't write them off they're so versatile they're really good and i hate versatile as a word it's just overused by demonstrators something chronic but in all honesty it's sometimes it's just the best word we can't help that well see that looks better doesn't it with the pinky splatties on it so we're back in with my gel medium i've really got to find my painty towels like i had like seven because i kept bringing more in from the kitchen but i can't bring another one in from the kitchen dave will kill me <laughs> there it is phew right i'll go back to my big paintbrush then so now if i go over the top of this with dilution medium it will reactivate those splodges so you have to be prepared for that because the green is water-based and was reactivated and so is the dilution zinc all right so if you really don't that want that to happen i would go over it with an uh, like distress glaze or something like that first it still will move a little bit with the distress glaze but you won't get as much movement And I think the pink splats and the yellow on that now, it just incorporates, it just brings it into the page we're doing, doesn't it? Which is awesome. Okay. Everybody okay with me so far? Looking good. Brilliant. Um, <clears throat> so from here, again, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a chance to dry 
on its own. I'm going to bring that back in because sometimes I think it's going to be confusing looking at two at once. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, I'm so sorry I still don't have the backing cards for these. Could you use Distress Resist to protect the green? Absolutely. So the Distress Resist spray, you could also use that. You know, just spray over the top lightly and that will also and that will also help and stop any sort of smudging. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, we've got four borders here between, you know, we've got two on the sunflower, well, actually three if you count this little one, and two on the B, the doodle art B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them, I think, to create where our flowers are going to sit. Now, I know these are slightly different to how I placed them a moment ago, but that's because I've changed my mind on how I want them to look. Um, so I'm thinking, something like that ish, and then we'll have the bees up here, or do we make it more random? And have like three here and then have the bees here oh, I wasn't looking when you said stick it down that's lovely what do I think of that instead I actually think I like that instead Like that. <clears throat> okay. Right, so I'm gonna, I am actually going to stick this down. Like it is. I've got my little I'm doing a weekly gel medium that's probably better for this I reckon I'm just going to tuck that one underneath there I feel like I say this one I'll get the dude large stamps to show you actually. So this one is from you prefer the previous layout. Ha <laughs> ha sorry my love. Um so the well when you do yours you do it that way. So this one is from here. Okay. And this one is from the other set. Oh no, it's not. It's also from here. It's from the middle. Okay? So both of these are from this one on Mandala set one. Okay? All right. Now, we're going to take our border stamps. We're still going to add some of those in, okay? And I'm going to go with this one first. I'm going to go into this block because I have once again misplaced my border block. Nature of the beast, what can I say? I'm going to go right to the edge. Okay, because the beauty of it is I've used a fair bit of gel medium, so it's not going to dry super duper quick. So I've still got a little bit of mobility, shall we say, with it. So I'm going to ink up this border. So that one, and then we'll swap it out and use this sort of honeycomby one. I 
off the bee. So that one. And I'm going to use this sort of really sort of thin, swirly whirly one on here. This, I have to say, I'm loving this so much. It would look really nice as a piece of wall art. Okay, it really would. All right, so I'm just actually just going to lift that off again. Then we go down here. It's going to tuck under there. It's going to go back on there. Lovely. Okay. And then I'm going to do some these two as if they're hanging down. Okay, so we do not try and turn ourselves inside out in the, you know, 14 inch square that we've allowed ourselves to keep on our desk. What we do is we turn our journal around and work from the top because that's easier. Okay, so I'm going to go with this little sort of, it's almost like a DNA helix, but not quite. With from that one. And between you, me and the gate post, I'm not really feeling my hearty border on this one. So I think I'm going to go back to the first one we used to go on the Doodle Art Mandala one. And use that one. But again, we'll just lift that off. Lift that off. And this is why when we decided to start making stamps was a few years ago they have to be clear because I had so much in after the fact do you know what I mean it's not all thought out or funnily enough I was talking to my lovely creative team today about my organizational qualities they don't think I have any <laughs> I'd love to say they're wrong right but they're not okay <clears throat> So, and then again, with the nature of the Doodle Art stamps, you can then go in and add in. What was our first stamp? It was a tiny little word stamp. Um, and it said... It's gone out of my head. It's totally gone out of my head. It, it had love in it. It was love something, whatever. And the thing is about that stamp, I made that my very first stamp, my very first stamp, the day Billy, you know Billy, they collect all the templates, Dad Billy, my dad Billy, and whatever. That was the day he had a triple heart bypass. And I made my very first stamp. There's a way to keep busy, in it? And I took it to show him when he was in ICU. And he can't remember. But I did. <laughs> so there you go. Fun fact. Fun fact indeed. Um, he always maintains it was fine for him. He slept through it. Okay. So this we need something else. There's some. There's something. There's something. I think we need a word now this is going to be here's what you could have one moment ladies and gents but it's where i am this is the creativity words in small we have um we have them in large but we are out of stock at the small at the minute but i just can't see how anything else is going to work here apart from that it's all I can see um, going in there. I 
and I kind of want to do some black pen marks around the outside, but I don't want to over. I don't want to overdoodle. I really, really don't. What I could do is I could add in. I could add in just very quickly. On the bee, there is a really delicate sort of little honeycomb. It's really. Um, You know, it's irregular, it's not like a repeating pattern. Now I can do my sentiment. That's one of those things, honestly, people will look at and go, well, why did you bother? Because I did. That's why. And this is the beauty of your art journaling. You know, you know you're going to keep it. You know no one else is going to see it. You know it's for you. And I think a lot of the time that means you can be a lot freer in how you do things. You know, you wouldn't necessarily... Because you know it's not being given to anyone else. So you can also be a little bit... Oh, I'll try that. Dirty fingers. imagination oh and i haven't quite stamped the end and i actually like it i think that's gonna sort of go so let's heat that up so this is on the back of one of my other cast off sheets put it on there Where's my scissors? I can only see small scissors. What on earth am I supposed to do with them? Where's my big pair of scissors? Oh, there's the lid for me. Collage medium now. Right. Right, little scissors it is. This is going to be rubbish. What do you think? Are we thinking yes? Yeah? Okay. I'm really glad I went with a flash of green. I think it would have been too much with the others and I actually like how the matte medium sort of softened it a little bit that sort of worked for me and this is where we talk about happy accidents isn't it it's like I wouldn't have ever intended for that to smudge because I don't think that far ahead um, but it's actually worked out perfectly Again, wicked thing about gel medium, you don't have to worry if some pokes out the side because it's going to dry matte anyway. So we can just hold that down. There is a gin. Oh, Ali, you're a genius. There is a gin. That is such a good idea. But this is only Tuesday. <laughs> okay. So this, and this is, again, one of my favourite things to do while well, art journaling, is put two pages together, build two pages that go, but don't. Okay? So these pages are so similar in so many ways, okay? Because they have, both have doodle art stamps, doodle art mandala specifically. They both have...
created paper elements. So this is, is, is with the tissue. You know, they're both bright colours and, and all this sort of thing. But they're completely different in every other way. They are, you know, opposite in a way, ends of the colour wheel. Because this is cooler, this is warmer. All right. This goes to the edge. This is... Can, can everyone just check out the white space? This does count as white space, right? Check it. Um... I'm a gin nation. It's all about the gin nation. Um, so, th so they work together, but they're not the same. And that's and I love to do that with my double layouts. If they're not, if it's not a double layout, it has to be opposite. Ali, no shush. Um, so you know. I mean that is that is possibly the most amount of non painted space I've ever left on a on an art journal page. Ever. I think it's a good job I did stick these little bits on because otherwise I don't think I'd have been able to do it. I can't lie. I don't think I'd have been able to do it. <laughs> Righty ho. So thank you so much for joining me this evening for the rest of the week. Sam is in crafting together with all brands because everyone loves each other tomorrow at 2 p.m. Sally is back tomorrow night and she has, shall we say, some awesome plans. It is going to be an Inkables Technique Palooza. Everything you missed or didn't see or anything like that sally is going to show you how to do with your inkables tomorrow night okay so that is very exciting i'm very much looking forward to that can't lie and then sam will be back at chit chat friday on friday funnily enough um to talk about what you're having for tea and anything else that you might want okay so if you are watching this on catch up on youtube please pop over to the facebook page um because this is where we have the lives on a Tuesday night. You'll be most welcome, wherever you're from. Um, and also Sally's live tomorrow as well. So Sally is now just... Because somebody was asking, is Sally doing every week or whatever? Sally's doing fortnightlies on Wednesdays. Because that's when she can. Um, and we'll take her wherever we can get her. Um, so she'll be here for those. Um, the We don't have a Wednesday live next week. Because the, the kids are off. But I should still be here on Try It Out Tuesday. Okay, but I will, of course, let you know. All right, then, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Sam's put all the links on there. But if there's anything you can't find, do let us know. All right, then, guys. Bye.